So we're gonna go ahead and check out the uh, service engine light that's on and the four x four service light that's on and see what's going on with that. I believe it's a switch we got in here and then most of the time with these, when the, the service engine soon light comes on, it's gonna be an O2 sensor, maybe both. Um, I'm gonna show you how to take the diagnostic tool that I have. It's really, really easy to use, really cool. And uh, show you how it works and what you can do with it and how you can clear that. And then we know if it comes back on, we'll have to change, get some parts and change it out. So I'm gonna show you that. And then we're gonna to attempt to go ahead and change the uh, push button four x four switch here to get it, uh, see if that takes off the service four x four and see if that makes it work. If not, we know it's gonna be the solenoid on front that I showed you before. So uh, we're gonna get started on that. On the vehicles, um, I've got a little scanner I bought. I'm actually gonna have to go online and see if they still have this or probably a new version of it or whatever, but I got it on Amazon uh, three, four years ago. And uh, it's a pretty good deal. I've used it on my wife's old Yukon. I used it on a 98 I used to have, 98 Chevy. Uh, I used it on a few work trucks to fix them. And uh, it's just a good scanning device and it allows you to go ahead and uh, delete the code if you want to and get everything fresh and give it a new start. And uh, if you change a part out, you can just go ahead and reset it. So it's a pretty good deal. So it's this here, if you can read, it's Baft, 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 OBD2. You just plug it right down in the bottom of your OBD2 here and it starts to light up and then you go, there's an app called Torque and you can look it up and uh, it, it pretty much shows everything you got. It shows everything from all your trouble codes to diagnostics to anything like air temp, fuel pressure, the whole nine. Um, it shows that you can tune, but it's got stuff that you can you could purchase to upgrade. I don't know how much you'd actually be able to tune with it. It's not that high tech, but you can reset a bunch of stuff and pull up some different displays so you can see what, what's going on. And so it's pretty neat. It's worked really good for me over the years. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'll show you where this thing goes and uh, we'll get it plugged in, see if we can do a good scan on this thing. Okay, so if you take a look here, I'm plugged into the OBD2. Pretty simple, it's lit up red now. So we're gonna go over and check out the device. This old phone of mine we've got it hooked to. And we're gonna go to this app right here. So it's Torque Light. Let's go ahead and bring that up. It'll always tell you some dumbass message and then you get on, you're good to go. So, what you need to go ahead and do is turn your vehicle on. And it'll start reading. So we've got, I'll go ahead and turn it on. Okay, service engine light on, of course. And that service four-wheel drive I told you about before is on there, but I've got to get the switch still. So what we're going to go ahead and do is come down here. You can see it's reading the vacuum I've got already. It's one of the screens I got pulled over. What we're going to do is go right here to settings. And right up here, look, it says fault codes. Hang on, sorry about the glare. Fault codes right here. Hit that bad boy. And they show logged faults. Hit that. It's going to take a second to scan your vehicle, see what's going on. So P0141, P0161. I know from experience that those are probably going to be the uh, O2 sensors. But let's go ahead and see what it says. So all you do is you push on it and it'll tell you. Description O2 sensor. Heater circuit, bank one, sensor two. So, um, we'll go back and check that other one. Whoops. I can already tell you that's what it's going to be. So, we'll look real quick and make sure.
Okay. 0161, same thing. O2 sensor. So the O2 sensor is bad, obviously. This thing is really neat, guys. But what we're going to do is go back to the fault codes again. And you see it says show pending, show historic. We're going to clear log faults right here. If you look up, we still got the engine light on. So what we're going to do is go ahead and hit clear log faults. And it tells you you should only perform it if the fault's been fixed, blah, blah, blah. If you just really want to see that's what it is, I clear it out. And if it comes back on, scan it again, same thing comes up, you know that's it. So we're going to go ahead and say okay to it. And it's going to clear it right then. You see how quick that was? That light went right off. So the service four wheel drive is still on, and it's going to be that way until we get this nonsense down here fixed. So uh, that's it for that guy. That's simple. And I've done this on changing different mass flows and stuff. It throws up codes or uh, anything else you want to do. If you've done some kind of mod to it or you've been messing with it, you can use these things. It's got all kinds of different displays you can use. So pretty cool, pretty cool deal. So that part's done. We'll probably see how it runs tomorrow. I can't really do it tonight, I'm getting a little late, but we'll see how it runs tomorrow. And if that thing comes on, we'll see what happens. Uh, see if the light comes back on, we'll scan it again. If it's the same thing, we'll do an O2 sensor video. Well, my uh, daily driver on a budget has officially become my daily driver and I am on a budget. So, uh, due to some uh, idiots up high in the company I work for, I'm not gonna name any names of the company, but a bunch of dumbasses ran into the ground, so they chose to take our trucks that we use daily to work out of to, well, I don't wanna give any more info than that. They chose to take them and make us drive 50 miles one way out in the middle of nowhere. So, I'm officially driving the Suburban to work. You can see cruising right now. Engine lights on, four by four is still on, but we'll get all that straightened out. But be testing the mileage now. See how it does.